welcome back to the python tutorials these tutorials are brought to you by zdub technologies and services in the previous video we have learned to set up the environment for aws cloud 9 right so i hope you all have followed the steps up till now and also uh, you all are able to set up aws cloud 9 right so now let us just start working with um, Python on AWS Cloud9. So for future reference, I would be calling it Cloud9 IDE. Um, so whenever I'm doing that, you please understand that I'm talking about AWS Cloud9 Online IDE. Okay. So this is the kind of the file that would be created for you. Now the first thing that you need to do after the creation of the file is to save it. So let's just go to file and click on save as. Now uh, this is your environment name. If you remember Python sample was the name of the environment that we gave. So this is your environment name Python sample and this readme.md file is automatically created. Right. So you do not need to worry about this file. You do not need to make any changes over here. All you need to do is just change the name of your file from untitled one to anything that you like. So I'm just going to name it as my file .py. .py is the extension of Python. That's why I'm going to keep it. And let's just click on save. Okay. So now uh, you can see my file .py is saved. So what will I do is I will just open this my file .py and I will just close this untitled one .py. Okay. So now this my file .py is created and it's been opened. Now what you can do is you can just write simple python commands over here and just try to work with it. Okay. So uh, if you uh, just want to check that if uh, this file uh, myfile.py is working or not, then what we can do is we can just start by writing the simplest of the python commands and that simplest of the python commands is the print command. Right. So if you just want to print something in Python, what you need to do is just you need to use the print function in Python. So you must be wondering what is a print function? A print function basically takes some input or some uh, message from the user and prints it on the screen. Right. So what we can do is we can simply just write this word print and in these parentheses, right within the double quotes or the single quotes, whatever quotes you want, whether it is double quotes or single quotes, you can just write a message. So I'm just going to write hello world. So this is a simple Python code, as you can see, uh, as I already told you that Python is very close to English language in its syntax. So you can see in order to print anything in Python, what you need to write is just a print uh, keyword or a print function and within the parentheses you just provide a message okay now if you want to execute this and uh, see what output it produces then what you need to do is you can just go to this button and click on run you can see uh, my file.py is right now in idle mode and soon it would be in the running mode right so now it's been turned into the running mode now this is one another advantage of cloud nine that you would be able to see the different stages through which your program goes before producing the output right so right now it is in running mode and it has been stopped but we are not able to see any output so let us just see what happened why aren't we able to see any output okay so what we can do is we can just make sure to write it in double quotes or we can just remove these comments Right now, let us just try to run it. So again, it's running. If you want, you can just increase the space of your terminal as well. Okay, so again, it stopped. We didn't get any output. So why is that? It is because as you can see in my file.py, we are getting this kind of a, you know, sign. So basically what we can do is press control S to just remove that sign, which means we have saved this file. Then we can just run it. Now after running it, um, means after saving it and then running it, we would be able to see the output.
right uh, so you can see now hello world is printed on the terminal so this is known as a terminal basically whatever inputs you provide from here they would be uh, run and whatever output they produce they would be shown over here like a simple hello world uh, that is a simple message you can just write any message and with the help of the print function that as it is message would be printed over here so this message is actually in the form of a string uh, if you just know str what string it's then it's good otherwise what a string is it is a simple um, combination of any kind of letters characters numbers etc you can write anything in single quotes suppose i write print and in the single quote suppose i write some numbers some random numbers right now if i just press ctrl s to save my file and then i just try to run it then you can see i would be getting hello word and this whole number uh, whatever the number i have provided these two things would be printed on the terminal so you need to wait for a few seconds to see the output here you can see uh, the numbers and the message hello word both have been printed so basically this is the usage of the print function and uh, this is how we can just get our uh, outputs on the terminal and they are printed right uh, so this is one example of the print function right now if you remember or if you see closely so we are using um, this let me just zoom in a little bit yeah so we are using these single quotes for printing this hello word and this number if instead of the single quotes we use uh, say double quotes then what happens let's say uh, i am writing in python then i can give an exclamation mark this is basically to show you that we can use any kind of characters as well uh, whenever we are just trying to use the strings so let us just run it and we can just wait for a few seconds while it is running so you can see uh, whatever message i provided it is printed as it is on the computer uh, terminal okay so this is what the usage of the print function is in python and as you can see it is pretty similar to the english language okay so this is basically to show you that how can you actually work uh, with the very simple function in python now let us see that how can you close this terminal so suppose you want to close this terminal what you need to do is uh, you can just go to file and make sure you first close your file okay so you can just click on close from here and your file would be closed your terminal would be closed you can see the terminal has been closed from here now what you can do is just go to your uh, username or whatever thing you are getting here whether it is your profile picture or your first letter of the name then you can just click on go to dashboard so it will take you back to your aws cloud 9 dashboard from where we came over here right we can just close this environment terminal now this is how your aws cloud 9 console or the dashboard is going to look like right you need to remember one thing is in which region you created your environment i created in oregon so that is why my python sample environment as you can see is present in this oregon region if i just change it to something else like say asia pacific seoul then what happens is uh, it is going to take a few seconds and after that my region would be changed and what effect would be would it be having on my environment is that i won't be getting any environment okay because whatever environment we create in a particular region it is specific to that particular region only okay and it is not present in any of the other regions so you need to be careful you need to know that in which region you have created your environment and every time you need to uh, just work with that region only right so you can see right now i'm in seoul and i'm not getting any environment right i'm getting this option of create environment if you have no environment in the region then this is what you are gonna get so if you want to create environment you can just follow this option and you would be able to create your environment however if i just go back to my oregon region so this is my oregon region here what i can do is you can see there are these uh this option i can just click on it 
and here is this your environments option so i can just uh, follow this your environments option and i would be able to uh, view all of my environments from here if you want to open your ide what you can do is just go to this link that is open ide and your cloud9 ide instance would be created or would be opened for you so that's all for this video